Now that we have learned how to generate a new Expo project and gained an understanding of the project's different files and folders, it's time to run our application. There are several methods available for running the app. On an iOS device, on an Android device, on the iOS simulator, and on the Android emulator. In this video, we will focus on running the app on a real device. I will be demonstrating the process on an iPhone but I will also provide instructions for running the app on an Android device. Step one, navigate to the project folder and run the command npm start. This will generate a QR code, which we will use shortly. Step two, download the Expo Go app on your device. You can find it on the App Store for iPhones or the Play Store for Android devices. Step three, ensure that both your computer and the mobile device are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Step four, on your iPhone, open the camera app and scan the QR code displayed in the terminal. If you have an Android device, use the QR code scanner within the Expo Go app. After a few seconds, you should see the Hello World app running on your device. Now what you're seeing here is my iPhone mirrored onto the screen. To test this, go back to app.js and change the text to hello world. If I save the file, you will notice the change reflected on your device almost instantly. All right, now that you know how to run your Expo app on a physical device, in the next video, let's learn how to run the app on an iPhone simulator. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.